Welcome to RPPC. This is Pam. And today we're going to highlight how you can look at your profit and loss statements and compare it to a prior year. This is one of the things that you as a business owner or business manager really need to understand how your company is doing from one year to the next and see if anything seems out of line. I work regularly with clients to help them understand, you know, what, what seems to be happening. You know, are we losing some profit? Are we incurring more expense? You know, exactly what is the issue? So the first thing we're going to start off looking at is how do we get a profit and loss that shows how we're doing this year compared to how we did last year, for example. So when you're in your QuickBooks file, you're going to click over here on Reports. And as you scroll through, you're going to see lots of different reports. But today we're going to focus on, let's look at this profit and loss comparison. So I'll click through. It'll pull it up. And for this conversation, we're going to look at this year compared to a previous year and say that we want to look at the dollar change as well as the percentage change. The reason we do this is because if I said, wow, our insurance expense increased by a thousand, should I be alarmed? Well, that all depends. You know, if your insurance expense was only a thousand to begin with and now it's two thousand, yeah, that's alarming. But let's say it was fifty two thousand and now it's increased by a thousand. Well, ask yourself, you know, am I going to be as alarmed? No, because percentage wise, it didn't increase by a hundred percent. Of course, we never want our expenses to increase, but reality is Every year, we're going to see some increases, especially on things like insurance. So that's why is we want to be able to look at it as a percentage standpoint. So here's just an abbreviated example of a file that shows our current year, what our income is, gross profit. Now, if you're in a product-based company or you have cost of goods, you're going to see that your gross profit isn't going to equal your total income. We'll talk about that in another video because you have those direct costs. But let's say, for example, in a consulting type service business, you may not have any direct cost if it's just your services you're providing. So that's why sometimes you'll see those differences. So again, for this conversation, we won't worry about that. But when we look down here at our expenses for this year, and then over in the second column, we see our income for last year, expenses for last year. Third column here is the dollar change. Fourth column is the percentage change. And so when we look at that, you know, we're wondering, are we going to be alarmed? Well, usually we have some kind of threshold that say maybe 10% that, you know, if it varies within 10%, I'm not going to be overly crazed about it. That seems normal. Maybe your threshold's 2% or it can be whatever you feel comfortable with. The more you analyze your numbers, the more you look at it, you're going to kind of get that gut feel that something just doesn't seem right. So in a brief overlook at this, what we're looking at is that in 2019, net income was 503,664. Net income for last year was 789,720. So that means our overall profitability, net profit, net income has decreased by 36.22%. That's substantial. So absolutely, if this was something I was looking over with my client, we would be investigating pretty much all of these line items. Office supplies, maybe not so much, but pretty much everything else we would be looking at to see what caused those variances. You know, is it something that we've entered incorrectly? Is it something that we're not watching our income and expenses outside of QuickBooks as closely? So these are the types of things that I work closely with my clients with 
being able to look at the financials and say, wow, seems reasonable or no, doesn't seem reasonable and we need to investigate a little further. Hopefully you found this was helpful. If you have any questions about your particular reports and you'd like to do a customized review, please feel free to reach out to me. Have a great day.